Hey everyone, John Chow here for johnchow.com and uh, it's Saturday, 9 a.m. I'm here at the San Clemente Outlet for the uh, weekly Cars and Coffee Meetup. It just started, so let's go check it out. In case you're wondering, uh, Ruby's is one of the sponsors of Cars and Coffee. They, they supply the coffee. Cars are coming in. Lots of them. Wow. Uh, I think that Tesla's going to the supercharger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, for some reason, generally uh, electric cars and ICE vehicles don't mix too well. <laughs> don't know why. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, no, uh, check that out. That's something new. That's a custom comma. Yeah. <laughs> so the show has just started and wow, I could tell it's going to be a really, really busy day. So let's begin a little tour at the beginning here with uh, Simon Camero. He's the organizer of Cars and Coffee, owner of the Bracketeer. And this is Jay's Ford GT. I just talked to Jay and uh, he offered to let me sit in it to see if I fit. So I will check that in a little later. Uh, hopefully I, I fit because I don't fit the new Ford GT. Try 488, Ferrari 458. So uh, these two are like just brothers. Yeah, older one, newer one, McLaren 650. Oh, this is the uh, new Lamborghini Huracan with the with the remodel front uh, front clip area. Yeah, it looks cool. It looks good. Bit of a performante look to it. Uh, I, I like the black and white interior. Check it out. Uh, check check this is something cool too. <laughs> Carbon leather. Yeah. The new BMW i8 Spider or Roaster convertible, what you want to call it, but basically the uh, topless version of the i8. Yeah, Roaster. Also, a beautiful looking interior. Very nice. Oh, wow. The Rolls Royce, yeah, this is huge. <laughs> the uh, the stripe is cool, and it continues with the interior. Notice the uh, the stripe matches the steering wheel, and all the other green accents there. And of course, typically being a Rolls Royce, it's suicide door. It opens up this way, and also another Rolls Royce feature. If you if you notice uh, this logo, always vertical, even when it's turning. Because it always stays vertical. Because it's a Rolls Royce. And it has carbon fiber wheels. Yeah. These wheels are carbon fiber. A little dirty, but yeah, you can see it. Nice. And here's the uh, convertible version. Wow. Also the same option, the carbon fiber wheels as well, and the uh, always vertical RR logo. You can get a better look at the interior, so you can see the uh, matching purple on the upholstery, and the dash to match the exterior paint. The, uh, I, I guess, the cover. And of course, the Rolls Royce umbrella. <laughs> that goes into the car. <laughs> Very nice. And completing the Rolls Royce lineup, here we have the big Phantom, <laughs> the biggest of all the Rolls. This is a, yeah, huge four door. <laughs> Love the curtains on the, uh, on the on the rear passenger window. Wow, look at that. 
That's insane. This thing is so big, it could barely be contained in the, in the viewfinder. And actually, my mistake, uh, our Rolls Royce 2 is not complete yet. Here we have the uh, new SUV. I think it's called a Column. Yes, that's what it's called. But, and it's amazing enough, believe it or not, the Phantom is actually longer. I mean, yeah, let's take a little back up, take a look at this. Yeah, you see the Phantom, which is a sedan, actually looks bigger than the SUV. Anyway, let's take a look at this uh, SUV. So, you know, we got the, uh, the Rolls Royce uh, flying Spirit of Ecstasy. It drops back into the, uh, uh, into the, under the hood when, to protect it, so it doesn't get stolen. Wow, yeah, look at that, look at that upholstery. Look at that wood. Yeah. Now notice the, uh, the wood grain. It matches right there center and splits down the middle. That's detail right there. <laughs> that is crazy. And same thing here, you notice the, uh, the wood grain again. They took two pieces and they match it right down the middle. And it, and it, and it continues. So, and it continues along the front and right to the center of the car. So, like, this is all one piece of wood. And I guess this is an airplane style that comes down, you know, like a first class airplane seat, I suppose. And suicide doors. <laughs> Let's take a look at the back here. And for you to sit down, tailgate party. And this year's the last Rolls Royce that I believe this is a, uh, yeah, just like a, well, I guess seeing so many Rolls Royce, they, they sound a little common now, but isn't that a, isn't that a Phantom? Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, back to the supercar, it's Ferrari California, MP412C. This is, uh, I believe, in Ferrari 360 Spider, and it's for sale for eighty-five thousand nine hundred dollars. There we get a good look at the engine there. There's the MP4. So, there's the engine MP4, and looking at it, you know, I could tell that, yeah, I think Ferrari does a better job showing off their engine versus McLaren. But the engine in McLaren, they sit lower. And the reason they sit lower is to lower the center of gravity on the car. This MP4 has an extremely low center of gravity, much lower than this Ferrari. So, conceivably, uh, this thing handles better. Cool. Lamborghini Aventador Rosta. <laughs> With the fast track pass, love it. AMG GT. With the hood up so you can get a look at that motor. And now notice how far back the motor is. Like this is a big long hood. The motor is actually here. So it's really, it's a front engine car, but truth of the matter is, it's more of a front mid engine car. Because the, the engine, is actually behind the front wheel. So it's really a mid-engine, just happened to be on the front. And you can see the, uh, the two turbos, known as a hot V setup. Lamborghini Michelago, nice. And this thing, customized Kama. Yeah. But they're calling it a, uh, a Draco. But uh, yeah, it is a Kama of a Draco body kit. Let me look at the interior. Yeah, that's a common interior. Maserati, not a Lamborghini. GT3. And oh, this is the uh, the Porsche GT3 or Protective Film Solutions, PFS. 
they're here, so who knows? Maybe uh, Acura Corvette ZR1, the most powerful Corvette currently being made, next to a Viper, and it looks like a Mercedes V12 or a Barbas body kit. Cool. I mean, check out the fenders on this. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that is a look at that lip on. Look at here. Look at the lip on that rear wheel. Crazy. Porsche. Vintage Porsche. See, back, but back when you got to see the engine of a Porsche. Uh, these days, if you open up the, uh, the trunk or the, the hood of the new Porsche, you'll see nothing. But, but back then, that's what it looks like. Very colorful. <laughs> hey, McLaren. Got some on, on that side, you got some American muscle. This side, you got the European muscle. So, a couple of Audis. Actually, you know, Corvette American Muscle. And here we have, like last time, I, I claim this is a Ferrari 328. Uh, one of my viewers says it's a 308, so let's go find out exactly what this car is. And he is right, it is a 308. So it's a Ferrari 308 used by Magnum PI. 308 GTS with the gated shifter. And next to a yellow Testarossa. Nice. Uh, <laughs> that's a big wing on this Porsche. <laughs> oh my word. Got fender flares as well. So you got fender flares in front, but not in the back. <laughs> yellow roll cage, manual gated shifter. Uh, I like this feature right here. That's cool. And uh, a giant Porsche wing. That's huge. I, I think this Porsche won the biggest ring at Cars and Coffee. My God, Liberty Walk. That's insane. Yeah, Liberty Walk BMW. You know, Liberty Walk body kits are kind of like, either you love it or you hate it. Up to you. So you have 12. BMW, another Lamborghini, just a Performante. McLaren, Acura. NSX, some motorcycles. This is a motorcycle section. Yeah, mostly cars and coffee, supposed to be cars and coffee, but motorcycles are welcome, so. And since we're in the summer, or, well, summer is about to be over, but it's still pretty hot right now. Motorcycles are still coming out. Check this thing out, wow. This is nice. Very nice. Wow, okay, <laughs> cool. Yeah. All kinds, all kinds here. I like that. There you go. See, Rolls Royce was not the inventor of the suicide doors. <laughs> Are you? John Chow. Yes. JohnChow.com. Yeah. We follow you. We love you. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, I was wrong. That Porsche GT3 did not have the biggest wing at Cars and Coffee. It belonged to this Corvette. Yeah, because uh, there, there it is. Yeah. Yeah, he, he won. Uh, this is definitely bigger. Uh, that Porsche never stood a chance. Classic. Classic Challenger RT with the shaker hood. And look at that, hood pins. I haven't seen these in like decades. So basically, uh, yeah, that goes there. And then this pin, you know, locks, locks the hood. Yeah. Crude, but it works. Normally uh, a Camaro with Lambo doors, you know, would stand out, but not what is next to this. <laughs> oh, wow. It's a, Back to the Future DeLorean. Wow, 
And look, look at this, look at this. Look at the modification. There it is. The flux capacitor. Yeah. It's ready to go back in time. It's a Volkswagen. It's also a Porsche. Cool. Okay, it's a Volkswagen carrying Porsche bicycles. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a uh, silent and it's green. All right, this is the, I guess, the end of the parking lot of Cars and Coffee. Uh, this is where all the latecomers show up. Uh, he's still trying to find a spot here. But uh, it's only like 9.15 and the lot got totally filled. It's crazy. I think it's going to be a record day today. Nice Alfa Romero. M3. BMW. Another BMW. The Mustang Club must have rolled up late. Yeah. Wow. Like <laughs> Dogs are welcome at Cars and Coffee. <laughs> anyway, uh, I am here at the end of the lot. So I uh, hope you enjoy this little uh, tour of South Orange County Cars and Coffee. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Please like and share my video, subscribe to my channel. And uh, now I'm gonna go see Jay and see if I can fit in this Ford GT. Let's do it. This is a uh, Jay's Ford GT. Is it 2004? 2005. 2005. All right, so this is 2005, and like I said, uh, I sat in Barry McGuire's uh, new Ford GT. My head hit the roof. I didn't fit. So I'm gonna see if I can fit in a 2005 one, the second generation. And I, 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 that's kind of cool. It makes it easy for me to get in. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll grab the doors. You need to open this up because this uh, has the classic rooftop yeah. from the Le Mans race cars. Oh, yeah, and uh, yeah, I don't know. This is going to be tight, tight, tight. Here we go. Okay, I just dropped right in. You need to slide the seat back, probably. No, I don't need to slide the seat back, but does the seat tilt? Yes. Yeah, so we tilt the seat. Uh, I'm no, tilting the seat. It's going to work. All right, so you wanna, you, I'll let you try is it going to work? I How's my? I don't know. It looks like a German no, fit. Uh, all right, so let's slowly, let's slowly let close. The door. All right, I guess close the door and let me, uh, here, let's see if we can get a photo here. All right, so let me get closer to it again. Well, you know, my, my, my hair, my hair touches the, the roof. It's, it's actually quite claustrophobic in here. <laughs> but the, well, the, the, this, uh, this pill, the, yeah, the A this, pillar, the A -pillar is extremely wide because wow, it's, got, yeah. it's part of a roll cage, it's building the car. Okay, That's yeah. Why. So I'm looking straight ahead, but I'm, right now I, I see a big A pillar in my peripheral view here, but uh, but believe it or not, uh, there's actually more headroom in the 2005 Ford GT than the the new Ford GT. So, like, uh, yeah, it's valuable. I mean, because in in the in the 2000 in the new Ford GT, I was more like like that. This one's just my hair. So, yeah, actually, you know, I I have I actually have more space in this one than the new one. Oh, good. You can make him an offer. So. <laughs> okay. There you go. So, yeah, and I love that shifter. So, so, what do you guys think? Should, should I buy it off Jay? Yeah. Let me know in the comment. We trade for the Tesla and yeah. cash. Well, yeah, that's right. Jay will take his take my Tesla, and I'll give him some more cash, and we'll, I'll take this car. There you go. There you go. There you go. So, in the future episode, you might see me driving for GT. All right. See you guys next time.